National final goodbye to a young life cut short. Today, hundreds of people attended Harmony Warfield's funeral. The seven-year-old was accidentally shot and killed by her two-year-old cousin last week. Her family was kind enough to allow News Channel 5's Chris Conti into today's service. He shares this story. It hurts. It hurts. It was hard to imagine a more sobering scenario as hundreds of people filed into the biggest of funerals to remember the littlest of lives. You always think of her smile. She is a very giddy person, very silly, always smiling. Harmony Warfield's casket sat in the front of Gilead Missionary Baptist Church. Just feet away sat her sister, mother, and grandmother. What would you tell this family? I would point toward heaven. You could feel the heartache here today. Sense the pain and profound grief those closest to Harmony are dealing with right now. It is all right to cry. It's your baby, you don't get her back. It's all right to cry. It's your granddaughter, she's not coming back. It's all right to cry. It's your sister, this is goodbye. It's all right to cry. The inability to grieve is the inability to grow. She was a bright light in her family, a second grader with so much potential at Purpose Preparatory Academy. The seven-year-old died last week after being accidentally shot by her two-year-old cousin. Harmony is the 11th child to die this year in an accidental shooting. This is what guns in the hands of children is doing to our city's youth. Because it's not fair. It's not fair, it's not right. Outside the church, Harmony's tiny casket was placed in the smallest of hearses. Stuffed animals were placed gently inside as she left the cemetery. Her favorite color was pink. Her favorite food, macaroni. And her family will never get her back. It's gonna be okay, she's in a better place. Chris Conti, News Channel 5.